Welcome. Our London Centre decided on a project that we thought would be of interest to people, and that is to uh, demonstrate the some of the organs in uh, London and to focus on the sounds, the individual stops and uh, families of stops instead of on uh, repertoire, so it wouldn't be a recital, but just uh, get, uh, giving you a chance to be acquainted with in more detail with some of the sounds of, uh, of uh, London instruments. So of course this is First St. Andrews uh, United Church organ. It's a Cassavon instrument put in in 1968-69. Uh, it has 36 stops and 54 ranks. Another unusual feature for organs in London, it has mechanical key action, although the um, combination action is electric. It's also the only organ in the city that has uh, rook positive, so this derives from uh, Baroque and earlier instruments in Europe uh, with this division behind the player's back. Um, the wind pressure also is quite light and unforced, which is a great uh, feature of this uh, instrument. Um, I would just like to say a few other things before I begin. First of all, an apology to all the composers who I'm going to play bits of. So as I mentioned, this isn't a, a repertoire class, it's just to demonstrate sounds. So I'm going to be playing short snippets of pieces and sometimes uh, cutting and pasting some of their pieces. So most of the composers, if not all, are deceased, so I hope they won't mind. Um, those that are uh, knowledgeable about the French classical style, which I'll be using, uh, know that, especially with the reeds, the composers uh, recommended pulling foundation stops I, with the reed. I'm not going to do that so you can hear the reed stop um, by itself and un, unencumbered with other stops with it. And the accompaniments I'm going to try to play quite lightly, so they may, you may say, well, that, it, the balance isn't right on that, and that may be, in a, that may be on purpose, so we'll, we'll say it's on purpose. Uh, so I'm uh, uh, focusing on solo stops, uh, I'll keep the accompaniment um, quite light. And then I'll uh, play a, a five note pattern, scale pattern, before each little uh, snippet, so you can hear the uh, individual stop. Um, by itself. Lastly, uh, but not least, I'd like to thank Lorraine Clark, as always, for providing her expertise on this equipment and, uh, more importantly, giving up her time so freely to uh, record these programs. So thank you, Lorraine. So I thought I'd begin with the uh, read stops and this uh, uh, first uh, bit of a piece will be uh, highlight the great or the Hauptwerk in this case. This organ has German nomenclature, the Hauptwerk trumpet. in the um, treble soprano range. Now I'm going to give you a chance to hear that same stop in the bass and then it'll, uh, uh, this piece I'll leave out a bit and we'll combine the two uh, so you can hear the full range of the Hauptwerk oh, trumpet. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 
dialogue by uh, Clarenbow. The read on the rook positif, this division, is the crumb horn. So that's uh, a stop that would be found on most or many uh, Baroque German in instruments and uh, spelled differently on the French class classical instruments, but the, uh, basically the same kind of stop. piece by Clarenbeau showing off the um, bass range of the crumb horn. by Cooper again. Brustwerk, which is this uh, uh, division here, and named because it's in the breast of the organ um, case, are, are regal stops, uh, short resonator reeds, and the one I'm going to demonstrate now is the Vox Humana. And this uh, is a dialogue by Couperin and shows off the soprano and the bass range in one of selection. also have a 16-foot ranquette on the Brustwerk, which is great for running basses. So I'll play a, a little uh, 
piece from Variations by Paco Bell. here. And uh, this next piece is a grand, bit of a grand jeu by uh, Pierre Dumage, and it will uh, put all the reeds together plus uh, the cornets, which we're going to, the mutations, which we're going to get to uh, next. But this will show you uh, the wonderful rich sound of a, of a uh, French grand jeu. the four-foot shaomai in the pedal. This stop was uh, designed to play uh, melodies or high, uh, higher treble parts in the feet, allowing the hands to play more elaborate passage work. Uh, I'm using a snippet of one of the Bach uh, Schubler chorales. <laughs> of uh, the Baroque organ, and I keep mentioning Baroque organ, this organ in many ways is, uh, is modeled on those instruments with its uh, casework and so on, well, were a, a great pedal division, especially in the North German organ, and this was to play uh, uh, pedal solos, which were, uh, are always very impressive when people play with their feet. So I'm going to demonstrate the 16-foot posaune with uh, the principal chorus in the pedal, then I'm going to add the eight-foot trumpet uh, and play the same passage again so you can uh, hear, hear that. <laughs> tuneness there a little bit. <laughs> okay, I mentioned the uh, cornets earlier, mutations. So one of the 
great features of this instrument are the mutation stops. So those are stops that do not play the unison pitch that is on the stop uh, uh, name here. So they pay. Uh, so I'm going to. They have names like two and two thirds, one and three fifths, and so on. So if you play a middle C on a two and two thirds stop, it plays a G an octave and a fifth higher. So you combine these stops, and they give a wonderful piquant. Um, uh, flavor to the sound. So um, I'm going to play a cornet voluntary and the cornet here will be on the rook positive. <laughs> sounds in the French classical tradition is the cornet or jeu de tierce played in the tenor range. Now usually we don't play these uh, mutations down low because the ear, they descent, tend to separate into their separate uh, pitches down low. But this effect that the French uh, 18th century composers used is just uh, wonderful and works so well on this uh, instrument. fortunate uh, at First St. Andrews on this instrument to have uh, two cornets. So uh, one on the rook positive, which is made up of separate ranks. Uh, cornet has five ranks. And on the Hauptwerk, uh, a, a five rank cornet that the ranks are uh, in one stop. And it uh, only goes down to um, uh, tenor G, so it's really meant for melodic Passages. So I'm going to play uh, a Ray C which, uh, by uh, Couperin to demonstrate that. And I've been forgetting about my five note pattern, so I will uh, do that now. <laughs>
in the uh, North German organs, especially Buxtehude and uh, those uh, composers, um, the organ usually didn't have a separate cornet stop. You could make one by combining the separate stops, but it did have a what was called a sesquialtera. So this was a stop of two ranks, combining the two and two thirds and the one and three fifths. And it's a beautiful sonority uh, when combined with a foundation stop. Ox Liebs Jesu is a wonderful um, little piece and shows off this stop beautifully. to uh, demonstrate the flute voices on this organ and uh, each um, manual has an eight-foot flute of a different kind, a stopped gedacht, a chimney flute, rohrflöte, and then a wooden uh, gedacht on the brustwerk. So I'll start on the Rückpositiv, Hauptwerk and uh, brustwerk, showing the uh, eight-foot stops. type pieces by uh, 18th century English composers. And continuing in that vein now, here is the Rook Positif 8-foot Gedeck with the 4-foot Koppelflirte. two-foot flutes on the Rook Positif uh, with a, a cheery gavotte.
that same uh, registration, except I'm going to leave out the forefoot. So this is called a gap registration, where you leave out uh, continuous uh, pitches in the harmonic series. It gives a little more hollow, uh, um, softer, delicate sound, and it very much suits this organ and uh, this little piece by Pa Caldwell. I'm going to uh, continue with that same idea of gap registrations and show you uh, some different, uh, different combinations. So there are many, many different combinations I could use here. This uh, little piece will show the 8 and 2 plus 1 and a third, and then halfway through I'll change it to the uh, 8, 4 and 1 and a third. So uh, again, by Pachelbel and some nice... Uh, variety with the uh, mutation stops. with some more combinations, and this time, though, I'm going to add the Zimbelstern, which is uh, a stop that was used in the Baroque time. Wonderful, tinkly sound, which goes with these tinkly registrations, and uh, is very, very useful, especially at Christmas time. lovely uh, sounds. Uh, that's one of the nice, nicest features of this um, instrument. Now some of you might be saying, well that's all uh, fine and dandy, but it doesn't have any string stops, and you'd be right. <laughs> so we have a, an 8-foot solitional on the Brustwerk, and that's as stringy as this organ gets. Uh, which isn't a romantic uh, string stop, it's sort of a hybrid stop. So I'll demonstrate that uh, now. And as I continue to forget playing the five note pattern, when I do think of it, I'll do it.
Another one of the glories of this instrument uh, for me uh, are the principles, but especially the eight-foot principles. So now I'm going to play a few hymn tunes showing off the Hauptwerk, the great uh, principle chorus, starting with um, the eight-foot principle. sounds because I find that eight foot principle has just a lovely sweet sound. Now I'll add the four foot octave to it. on this instrument are very bold. This is a Lawrence Phelps uh, designed instrument and uh, uh, they might not have made them quite so sharp today but they really uh, give a, add a brightness to the sound. mixture uh, and use this for a Praise My Soul hymn tune which it uh, suits very well. plus the 16-foot basson and the 8-foot trumpet in the Hauptwerk. Now just a, uh, three more things. 
I'm going to show you the principal choruses on the Hauptwerk, the Rook Positiv, and the Rustwerk. So uh, this is what uh, became called in the 20th century a Werkprinzip uh, organ. So each division was based on a different principle, eight foot principle, four foot principle, two foot principle, and 16 foot principle in the pedal. And uh, I won't tell you what the piece is, you'll uh, instantly uh, recognize it, but I'll be um, showing you uh, the different principal courses. principal choruses of the Hauptwerk with the principal chorus of the Rook Positiv and uh, the principal chorus of the pedal with the 16-foot uh, Posaun. And uh, you'll hear how uh, it uh, just suits this Allegrev by Bach in its uh, majestic uh, rhythm. full forces of the instrument, almost all the stops, leaving out the very high mixtures, and play the first page of Vidor's uh, Sixth Symphony. enjoyed this uh, uh, look at uh, the first St. Andrew's instrument. There's much more that could have been explored, but I hope that's given you a taste uh, of it. It's a wonderful instrument, and I've been so fortunate to uh, have it at my 
beck and call all these years. So thanks again.